space is awesome but it's also destructive so let's talk about what you need to do to make sure your vehicle keeps making the base and doesn't catch on fire under the hood you've got lots of connections going on connections from your alternator to fuses connections from fuses to batteries all those types of things any one of those is an area where you could have a problem and not even be aware of it. so for me before a show and after a show and also just randomly in between i like to open my hood go through check every connection check where the wire goes into the lugs make sure there's no corrosion happening nothing's loose make sure the connections themselves are nice and tight and corrosion free go through and put your fingers on everything grab those wires pull on them wiggle on them they should be nice and tight and corrosion free so i check this battery connection it's nice and solid it always gets a little bit of corrosion on it because of the way metallurgy works um, and i clean that off and make sure that connection stays nice and tight and clean check my breaker in this case i actually have it closed sometimes i have it open and depending on how i'm running the system um, check my connections here at the alternator making sure these wires aren't corroded these guys right here going to the fuses i check my fuses make sure that both of them are still good these two wires right here see a lot of current these are the ones that carry the power from my two alternators and this battery right here back to the back so there's a lot of current going through these two wires i keep a close eye on them make sure these connections they're nice and solid there's no corrosion happening in there and all the way through the engine bay i have a dummy uh, battery over here which i created <laughs> And it needs to be replaced, but it's functional. I just, it's just not pretty. I need to put a real nice uh, setup up here, but I check my connections here. This is the stuff that runs the Tahoe whenever we were going down the road and uh, everything is nice and solid. Make sure nothing's loose. Nothing is gonna move around. Check this ground connection here. So we go through the whole engine bay put your hands on everything because when you put your hands on it and you feel of it uh, you'll notice things that your eye might not see so coming back here to the back I have a battery isolator here I check my connections here these distribution blocks I check them push against them see if they move we don't want anything to move I check every single wire go through it feel of it push on it try to wiggle it and you can't just bypass you have to check them all and these guys right here are notorious for causing issues because the they'll get warm whenever this thing is going and that heat cycle will cause the uh the worm screws to loosen up because the the, the wire will melt a little bit kind of you know and deform so i actually keep a wrench back here that i can slip in and guarantee you it's going to turn just a little bit so i come in here and check these just a tiny bit so it moves but that little bit over time over the course of you know months of playing years of playing that little bit can turn to a lot more and <clears throat> i have customized this wrench it's completely uh wrapped and tape and then heat shrinked uh, all of it is completely insulated except for this very end right here so that i don't accidentally short from positive to the chassis or anything else while using my wrench and uh, i keep it right over here in this little home you check all your connections everything check your connections down here at the capacitor don't leave anything untouched another area that i go to is on the subwoofers so i go in here i check the surround i run my hand around it i feel of it i tap on it i look visually for any screws that may be backed out i do a little push on the coil 
to make sure there's no rubbing. You know, everything is nice. Check the surround all the way around. Run my fingers around it. Look for anything that might be loose. Tap on things, bump things. Check everything because when you're when you're playing at a show, you abuse the crap out of this stuff, and uh, you may not notice something has gone awry until you put your fingers on it and start feeling of it, and then you notice it. So after a show a while back, I was inspecting this subwoofer, and uh, I noticed that the surround what it had broke loose from the uh, the landing out here. And uh, so I had to take this one out and, and re-glue that surround. It was, it was broke loose from the outside edge. Um, and it's just, these subs are five years old. These soft parts are five years old. They have been, they have been working for a long time. Tap on things, man. Knock on stuff. Look for anything. Look the screws over. Check for any loose wire. See, those two wires I was talking about from up front, they run back here, and they run through these two fuses. And notice how one of these two fuses, the cover is not on it. That's something that I found the other day, and uh, it, it's, it's partially broken. So I don't have a cover for one side right now. I'm going to have to replace that. But go in here and check. Check your wire connections. Check your fuses themselves. Everything has to be checked. If you're not checking it on a regular basis, what's going to happen is eventually one of these connections is going to get loose. When that happens, it's going to get corrosion in it and it's going to get hot because it's got a, it's going to have resistance it's going to get hot it's going to get corrosion get hot and get more corrosion get more hot and then you're going to melt something and when you melt something then the wire becomes disconnected goes somewhere it shouldn't go and if it happens to be on the back side of the fuse like one of these it isn't fused from here to here and connects to the ground you have a problem is a short and then that wire gets hot and melts the insulation and turns into a thing that wants to catch your vehicle on fire check everything and your alternator check your belt inspect your belt check for lots of debris up in here if you're getting a whole lot of debris a whole lot of black powder around this that means your belt is slipping you need to work on tightening that belt and you're also probably uh, wore that belt out you may need to replace it as well but everything the grounds everything has to be constantly monitored because what we're doing isn't normal behavior for the vehicle it's something extreme and not only are we doing something with lots and lots of moving parts that can that can malfunction but we're also adding to that an immense amount of vibration from the base and a lot of heat uh, in the engine bay all of these things affect how the metal uh, surfaces stay in contact with each other even if you've got your loctite and you've torqued everything down you know you can't take any of that for granted because of the abuse that these tank these take they need to be constantly maintained just like an airplane comes in on a constant basis they go through it tear it apart and check everything because you can't afford for something to fail same scenario this business this hobby is absolutely phenomenal and it's a wonderful hobby to get into but you also got to make sure you're doing the maintenance on the backside to keep the hobby from becoming a liability instead of just a fun hobby you don't want your house to burn down make sure your connections stay tight Make sure your fuses are nice and tight and not blown. Make sure everything is as it's supposed to be every time, at least before or after a show and then randomly during the year. Just driving it around can cause something to work its way loose and then you won't find that until you have a catastrophic failure. If you guys are looking for car audio equipment, by the way, Big Jeff Audio, that's where you want to go. I got a link down below with my coupon code CAE, click on that link and go shop your heart out. Find all the stuff that you want. And 
if you're wanting to save some extra money, use the tip top, T-I-P-T-O-P, -P, whenever you hit the checkout. You can trade in some of your devices, your other stuff. There's like 50,000 things you can trade in. And you can trade that in and get money off of your purchase right there at the checkout. You can also save up to 100 bucks right now if, uh, if you use tip top to check out right off the bat adding to the savings from my coupon code you can't lose man it's good stuff hey if you guys appreciate the tips and the information that i provide you be sure and hit that subscribe button there it don't cost anything it takes a half a second to do and it makes my life much better that's all i'm shooting for is getting subscribers so you hit the subscribe button and if you have anything you want to talk about things that you run into on maintenance or ways that you prevent problems from coming up Leave it in the comments. We could all benefit from your knowledge, and we all like to share knowledge back and forth. Thank you guys for stopping in. Peace.